It's all about the accessories in this episode of Airsoftology Reviews. That's right, we're looking at suppressors here, and this one is a pretty neat one. I like it a lot. It is the Trident series suppressors from Helix Airsoft, and if you guys have never heard of Helix Airsoft, they're kind of one of these sleeper companies that their stuff's everywhere. It's kind of unique and cool, but you may not have heard of them as a brand. In fact, if you guys check, and I'll put a link over here in the corner, uh, there is an unboxing video I did from all their stuff. They have a lot of cool stuff coming. But what really caught my eye were these Trident suppressors. Now, they come in two different flavors. They have a short and a long. The short's a little over five inches. The long, which I shall produce from the back, is a good nine inches even. So other than that, they have virtually the same styling. It's kind of like a shortened version of the same suppressor. What makes it unique is the styling. It's kind of, I'm not gonna say, it's not, definitely not Osprey style because that's very different styling, but it does have a cool like cross section and way it works and the way it's fit. The top is a little more dome. The bottom has these little like recessed channels. There's styling here on the sides. And of course, there are nice trademarks here on the side. Again, this isn't modeled after a real suppressor. It's kind of their own design. What makes it unique is a couple things. One, it does come in counterclockwise and clockwise 14 millimeter threading, which means you can put it on a pistol like this. This is a PO9. You can put them on pretty much any standard rifles, but they do have the positive version of the threads. That's the negative fits most everything in Airsoft. They have the positive version of the threads, which work like young GMP guns and certain other ones out there that need the opposite threading. But that's not what's cool. I want to show you, because like I said, the short one and the long one, it's the fact that on these guys, the parts are interchangeable. So the body tube is one unit and the threading is dependent on which one you purchase. So you have to purchase the counterclockwise or the clockwise. Counterclockwise or 14 millimeter negative is like I said, the standard. They have the interchangeable bits. So like this end piece here and the end piece here, you can swap out and they sell extra colors. So if you wanna do a black and blue, if I wanna take the end pieces off and swap these two out, I could do that. I can actually two-tone these things, no problem. I also, you can pick up red, gold, and a ton of other colors, chrome. There's a bunch of them out there to customize to your look and style. So if you want something subtle, plain, and military, you can go with this or like a Coyote Tan or something like OD, or they actually have water transfer versions too in certain camouflage patterns. You can go that route. If you wanna go and get your crazy speed saw on, kind of what I'm thinking about doing, I'm building a Speedsoft gun here too, you can actually two-tone these things up. I'm going for, if you can't guess, the blue and black look. Also in the kit, you do, like I said, get everything. And there's one more thing you do get. If you haven't noticed, some of these guns, it's really tough to get this thing sitting just right so it sits correctly, especially when you have threads that don't really stop and the slide can slam into it. Well, what they've done is they've given you a bunch of O-rings, some large ones, some small ones, in the package as well to put in here to kind of shim this thing up so everything sits just right. So then you can get it set up, have that perfect little gap, make sure you're not slamming that slide too far forward, causing damage in your pistol. That's what you wanna do and get it going. Also, the tube inside is plenty big, so you're not gonna have any concern about BBs bouncing around. And before you guys ask, yes, it is USA compliant. It is a solid tube on the inside. There's no foam, so it will not have any sound density, but it also will pass the ATF approval, which is a good thing. I think my only complaint here, again, I gotta give you guys the small negative, and I, I keep doing this, right? is the fact, and this is something with every suppressor, it's gonna block your sights. Uh, this one sits a little taller than most, so even if you have elevated sights, it will still block it. Again, I still run suppressors in my pistol. I don't care about the sights. I mean, I'm snap shooting. Most of the engagements I have with the pistol are within 50 feet. Usually within 30 feet is when I've got this thing out or my primary's down and it is Hail Mary time for me. So again, definitely not a negative at all. It's uh, this common issue with every suppressor in the market out there today. So if you guys are looking for a cool new suppressor, something that looks very different, comes in a ton of anodized colors and water transfer colors and is customizable where you can mix and match the colors. You can do like OD and black, you can do tan and, and OD, you can do crazy colors like blue and red and you can go patriotic or whatever you wanna do. Definitely check out the Trident lineup. That's the Trident Micro and of course the Trident Full Size Suppressor from Helix Airsoft. And you can get these anywhere Helix products are sold or I will also have a link over to the Helix website down in the link below or the description below so you guys can check it out directly over there. 